Welcome aboard, Gopher fans. We're talking Gopher men's basketball here, and it's our pleasure to welcome to his very first Zoom meeting that will be at least released publicly, new Golden Gopher assistant men's basketball coach Jeff Myatt. And coach, first of all, welcome to Minneapolis. I should say welcome back to Minneapolis. Definitely. It's good to be here. It's good to be home. Um, it's a place that's real close to my heart, and I'm excited to be here. You grew up here. You went to Hopkins High School. You were an assistant high school coach in the area for a number of years. In fact, uh, Coach Rodney Williams, one of our favorite athletes to ever cover, what an athlete and what a uh, uh, guy could probably still win a slam dunk contest today uh, if he were uh, put, put in one. But um, you, you have some Minnesota connections that I'm assuming made this attractive for you. Yeah, anytime you get a chance to go home in the, in the coaching profession, it's a, it's a great opportunity. And obviously to come under, you know, Coach Bettino and to, you know, you know, learn under his, his uh, tutelage will be a great opportunity for me as well to expand my coaching abilities. And, um, man, I'm just excited to be home. I mean, I, I've been here for, you know, maybe about, about a month so far, and, and it's, it's good to be home a lot of, you know, running down memory lane. Um, kind of take me through uh, how that transition has been. A little tricky, I would think. Most definitely. Um, you know, I got out of here, you know, about a month ago and, and kind of been in between Airbnbs and um, just trying to find a place to put my head. I'm currently downtown in the North Loop and looking for a place to live. But um, I made it to campus once uh, and it was only for about 30 minutes. And, and wow, impressive, impressive to see the new facility and, and just to kind of walk through it and got a quick glimpse of it. But it's, it's an amazing facility to build down there and um, excited to get going. What, as you, uh, let's, let's do this first. Let me ask you about your track. As you, we mentioned, you played high school ball at Hopkins uh, for the legendary Kenny Novak, uh, won a state title, was an assistant there, an assistant with Rodney's team at, uh, at uh, Armstrong Cooper, uh, and then into the college uh, profession. Kind of take us through your roadmap uh, from, from then all the way up through now where, uh, where you are as uh, back home in Minneapolis. Well, you know, lackluster playing career, um, tore both my ACLs and, you know, unfortunately going into my senior year, uh, you know, tore my other ACL, which was prior to Hopkins winning the uh, state championships. But, you know, we were preseason top 25 in the country. And, you know, I think we, you know, had a really good team coming back. So that was unfortunate for, for myself and for, you know, obviously the Hopkins brethren. Um, and then and then from there, I went on and signed with Valparaiso, went from there to you know, junior college in San Jacinto, number one team in the country the whole year. Went from there to UC Riverside, tore my other ACL. Um, and, and so I, I was riddled with some, with some uh, injuries that, that, you know, had a lasting imprint on my, on my uh, you know, basketball experience. But because of the, you know, the, the experiences I did have with, with some great coaching and, and specifically Coach Novak, um, I was able to continue my path and I got into business initially, but found my way back home to Minneapolis and got right into coaching, you know, and, and, and obviously the first place I'd start was, was at the time it was Hopkins high school. And then Howard Pulley was kind of the only, that was pre um, circuit with the AAU uh, Under Armour Adidas. So there was really only um, the big circuit and, and, and Pulley had the only, uh, you know, shoe company deal at that point. So I aligned myself with them and, um, that carried myself to, to the collegiate level. Um, I think your question was, what happened at that point? Um, so obviously, I went from in the collegiate level, I went from there to uh, uh, Howard College was my first opportunity, and just got a break by meeting uh, Tim Jankovic, who's who's now the head coach at um, uh, he's at uh, Southern Methodist SMU. Um, so he gave me the opportunity and, and got me connected with a gentleman by the name of Mark Adams, who is one of the best coaches who you may not know right now in the country. He's associate head coach at Texas Tech, um, kind of known as the defensive architect and guru of, of uh, you know, defense at the collegiate level right now. Um, my first year with him was blessed, won a national championship, had Jay Crowder in my first recruiting class, um, a few Hopkins kids, um, or a few uh, Minnesota kids, excuse me, Moses Sandufu, Joe Bright from, um, from Cooper, who I coached in high school along with Rodney, and then, and then Carlos Emery, who ended up being a first-team All-American and went on to Oregon. Um, so two years there, um, left there two years at Midland Junior College, a year at San Jack, which was my alma mater, um, and then finished out three years at Odessa College. So eight years in kind of the upper echelon of the junior college ranks, which then kind of propelled me to the Division One opportunity, which I kind of ran for at that point. I was ready to you know, kind of cut my cloth at that next level, felt like I had experienced everything I could and got to the um, uh, New Mexico State, had an unbelievable 
run there with with you know one of the best coaches in the business, uh, Chris Jans. Um, I want to say something like second in the country right now behind Mark Few in winning percentage in the last three years. Um, so just an unbelievable run he's had over there and, and, and learned a lot from him. Um, and then got and then made a jump to Iona College for a year, unique year. Um, the coach wasn't around all year, got sick, um, and just was a different year. And then here I am. Um, what, what would you say your expertise uh, is in terms of coaching up through the ranks? Uh, where, and what will Coach Patino, uh, Richard Patino, rely on you? Or what of the duties uh, as you guys kind of uh, align this together now and get the, the whole staff together? Fortunately, I've, I've worked for a lot of great coaches. And, um, you know, I think one of the main things that, that, you know, I mentioned Mark Adams and Chris Jans, they're both known as defensive minded guys. Um, you know, obviously, in speaking with Coach Patino, he has a very, you know, in-depth, uh, you know, uh, amazing repertoire of coaches that he's worked for. But, um, you know, he, he really wants that, me to focus defensively. Um, so that will be one of the main areas I, I look to, to bring some energy and, and some, some, some ideas to that, that realm. Um, as well, obviously, I think I've been known to, you know, recruit as a recruiter. You know, um, I would definitely say I'm a coach first and foremost, and, and that's where my passion comes in working with young men and, you know, using basketball as a vehicle to get them where they, to where they want to go. Um, but, you know, uh, those are probably the main areas, just defensively and, and, and then obviously working with, um, you know, working with recruiting. And then specifically as far as the breakdowns, I've worked with guards and bigs um, at both colleges, I've been at New Mexico State with, with the guards and at Alanos with the bigs, and, and here he wants me to work with the guards. So that will kind of be who I kind of put my imprint on on a daily basis on as far as individual stuff within practice and, and so forth. Obviously, with your connections here to Minnesota, you mentioned at Howard, you, you were able to get some Minnesota kids there. And I know you can't talk specifics in terms of specific players, but um, we're in the middle of a pretty good run of high school players that are available, so to speak. Uh, how important uh, will that be part of your role as well as to cultivate those relationships and in many cases, maybe rekindle them in the sense that you've already struck up relationships with a lot of coaches, both at the AAU and the high school level? I think you said it right. It's 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 less about you know um, striking them up as 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 much as it is rekindling or you know it's a it's a you know when I talk to Coach Patino going into this I I don't have to build relationships here you know this is home you know so everyone that you see I, I know them and there's a there's a track record of a relationship with them that goes you know supersedes basketball and coaching and affiliation so um, I think those will help you know me get involved and kind of get deep into these. Uh, you know, younger classes of guys that we've been recruiting. And I mean, Minnesota is as talented as they get as far as players. And I think the, you know, the main objective and, you know, with Coach Patino is just, you know, bridging that gap and, and, and keeping Minnesota kids here at home, you know, and I think that's his number one priority. Um, he's made that clear uh, to those recruits in the in state right now. Um, and, and we're just going to go after him with everything we have and, you know, put our best foot forward. And I think we have something great to sell. So I'm, I'm excited to kind of cultivate some of those relationships because some of them with the players, I am a little bit past. So it's kind of rebuilding some of those relationships. I know everybody around them, you know, so that will, that will be exciting. Last one for you, Jeff Myatt, the new assistant uh, Golden Gopher basketball coach. Um, growing up in Minnesota, how often were you able to get to the barn for a game? And two, have you been able now to, at least in the back of your mind, envision what it'll be like walking up those steps and out onto that barn bench uh, to coach a game? Whew. You know what? It will be surreal. Um, I, I just think to, to come back home and to be able to coach at the barn and and and, and to wear you know gold for colors and and will be will be uh, a, a dream. You know, it'll be it'll be surreal. Um, how, how, have I experienced it to a certain degree? Yes, because when we when we played in the state tournament, we did play at the barn. Um, so I'm familiar with the area, um, with 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 the with the landscape of that. Um, uh, your first question was remind me. If you, as a kid, would go watch the Gophers play at the bar, oh, yeah. sit in the stands. Most definitely. I mean, I, I went to several games, uh, you know, Timberwolves games, uh, Gopher games. And then even as I got older and would come back, I'd go to many games because so many of the guys that I, I coached played for there. I mean, there's a long run of not only Minnesota players um, there, but as well, there's a long run of Hopkins players specifically. And, um, you know, I've connected with some of those guys since I've been back, guys that I was close with, Dan Coleman. I was with Chris Humphreys the other day. Um, you know, so, so there's a lot of close ties that I'm able to kind of get back in touch. So it's, it's a good time. It's an exciting time for me. And like I said, I'm just excited to be a golfer and to, and, and to get the opportunity to work for Coach Patino. So welcome back to Minnesota, Coach. Thank you so much. It's been great. I appreciate you, Mike.
All right, there he is, Jeff Myatt, the new Golden Gopher assistant men's basketball coach.